Saluya, Mark. Bailela. Saluya. Good day, Davao, Mindanao. Welcome to Mindanao Politics, Election 2010, as talk show on uh, political developments in Mindanao. It's aired three times daily at Sky Cable, Channel 28 and Channel 2. Our guest for today is no less than a senatorial candidate from uh, Pangasinan and the son of former Speaker uh, Jose de Venecia, Mr. Joey de Venecia. Good, good day, Joey. Ayong buntag. Thank you for having me sa inyong napaka-popular na programa. Sa ating mga nanonood at nakikinig ngayong umaga, maraming salamat po sa inyong pag pagbigay ng pagkakataon sa akin mapakilala ko ang aking sarili. Yeah. Joey, uh, you have been known to be Mr. Back Off or the ZTE Back Off. But of course, people in Davao would like to know more about Joey on a personal basis. No? Para naman, hindi lang nila kilala si Joey, isip uh, as uh, uh, Mr. Back Off sa ZTE scandal. So, who is really Joey De Venecia? Saan kayo nag-aral, your professional uh, record, your business uh, uh, history? Well, ako po ay tiga pribadong sektor. Uh, I've been in a businessman for the last 25 years. Uh, napasok lang po ako sa ZTE kasi pagkat ako po nagdala ng broadband technology sa Pilipinas. Kaya po ako na, napasok doon sa ZTE problem. No? Kaya lang, uh, I've been a businessman uh, focused in information technology, telecommunications, and finance. And I also have, um, I chaired two um, NGOs. One is the uh, Verlani Foundation, which handles, we, we, we take care of street children in Metro Manila. Uh, and also, I'm involved in the Board of Trustees of two drug rehabilitation centers, both in Manila. Uh, I have been, uh, I, st I have started the first teleco uh, call center in the Philippines in 1997, uh, named Q Interaction. And at the moment, we have already employed, because of the uh, domestic and foreign investors coming in, there are now 650,000 jobs in the call center and the BPO, business process outsourcing industry. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm a pri very private person. I've stayed away from politics for a long time. And um, my father indeed asked me to run in 1998 for Congress, which I declined. And he, he eventually, we eventually lost that district because we, um, the candidate that we put there was not uh, strong enough to to beat, to beat the challenge. But that was that's just um, uh, proof that I, I was never really interested in politics. Although I come from a political family, you know my father Joe de Venecia, and my grandfather, maternal grandfather, was the first speaker of the republic, first speaker of the Republic of the Philippines. Speaker Eugenio Perez. Mm -hmm. So I have it both in my side. Uh, I, I'm both my families are from Pangasinan, and uh, it is only now that I am entering politics because of the clamor of um, uh, student organizations that have asked me about the ZTE transaction, where uh, isang magandang isa pong magandang proyekto yon na hinain ng pribadong sektor para kabitan ng uh, ikabit ang lahat ng ahensya ng gobyerno uh, via internet at computer para mabawasan ang uh, bilyong-bilyong uh, paggastos sa komunikasyon sa ating bayan. So, yun po ang hangarin ng dun sa CTE, kaya lang naging uh, oportunidad ng mga matataas na tao sa gobyerno na pagkakakitaan ng may na labing anin na bilyong piso. Yeah. Joey, I'm quite, quite interested uh, as uh, efforts mo being the pioneer in the call center industry. Yeah. Can you give a, a brief uh, history of what really transpired or what happened when you developed that uh, industry by uh, pioneering uh, efforts? Well, unang-una po, uh, yung the call center and is now known as BPO, Business Process Outsourcing, uh, it requires two things. One is, of course, the, uh, the necessary skills for doing backroom operations here, meaning answering, pro answering uh, technical questions, uh, calling out, outbound, making outbound calls, selling uh, for different markets. And from the technology, technology standpoint, and thirdly, you have to be English speaking because most of the clients are Americans. Fourthly, and most importantly, you need broadband technology to be able to put up call centers in the Philippines. Uh, the first call center that we put up was in 1997, but there was already a BPO, the first BPO in the Philippines, Business Process Outsourcing.